Hi guys, watch to yes, Except back on another vlog. Uh, yes, today is uh, Wednesday, April 3rd, 2024. So, you know, the first vlog for April. Um, so, yeah, apologies for not done any, done any vlogs the last couple of months. Yes, but, um, hopefully, we can yes, uh, redeem that by doing a few vlogs now. And um, yes, off a month, yes, I thought I'd give an uh, updated house tour. Yes, because a few things have changed about the apartment in the last few months, um, you know, since the last time we did a tour, but um, not too much has changed. Um, so let's get started. Going to, uh, put the camera around. Uh, so first things first, um, this is my new door I put in a couple weeks ago. So yeah, it's, uh, it's a pretty nice door, I'm not going to lie. Um, of course, there are a couple of issues with it. Um, one being the fact that there's no nail box slot on it, which is annoying, but oh well, it's not the end of the world. And uh, two, I have to uh, constantly put the key in whenever I want to unlock the door and lock it from the inside, which is a bit weird, but you know, it's what it is, I guess. Um, but I'm sure it's pretty waterproof, unlike my other door, which my old door wasn't waterproof and needed to be replaced because, um, you know, it was uh, very rotten, the, uh, the door. Anyway, and then you were. Uh, yeah, and uh, here we have a good old Hedy, um, a Hoover, and it's on a, uh, this was part of the old uh, dresser that I had, my dad threw, has taken the rest of it away, but for now, um, this is where my Hoover lives, it now lives on this uh, part of a dresser, which uh, kind of is basically like a table for it, which is a, uh, let's put it, um, there's the wall cupboard, or water cupboard, water closet, where, uh, Got the same washing machine, obviously, the one that I had to uh, pay to be fixed annoyingly because they were like, oh, it's your fault because you're the one who had to fill it in that. But it broke on me that the one time, not the other way around, but they wouldn't listen. So, oh well. Uh, air freshener. Um, laundry capsules. Let's buy more of them. Uh, there's the boiler and the water tank. Um, let's see. Let's see. All my guarantee paperwork. Uh, they're all in here. Uh, there's an electrical fan that I barely use. It's in here. Does this one work still? I don't know. I want to see if this works, guys, real quick. We will uh, do a test on camera. I have a work still needs a chart. Oh, there's a bit of text stuck to it. Let's see, does this fan still work? Let's have a look. Can't even put a switch for it at the bottom. Where is it? How is it on this thing? Oh, here it is. Let's find it. Just looking at the wrong bit, that's why I can find that. I don't know why, but I like the switch. Okay, it's got noise, but I'm guessing it needs a charge, probably. I read broker and use a charge, I can't tell what. I'm using a finger in The last time I used that was when I was working in that sales job in 2022. That's when I last used that. Uh, here's the original light bulbs that came with the apartment because I got new ones put in like three years ago. So, uh, um, look at the back of the boiler. Oh, the pipes. Oh, so nice. Is that everything there? Oh, there's a just kind of brush bag there. Um, I think that's everything we've got. Oh, there's uh, gloves. You know, back in uh, 2020, when uh, the whole uh, COVID thing, we had to wear gloves. That's why we've got those in here. I don't even use them, of course, but that's good. Uh, there's the washer. There's that now. Okay, here's the spare room. And uh, we're going to open up. Uh, this has basically become a cluster room now, guys, pretty much. So uh, here's my other Hoover that I don't use. Um, Friday because it doesn't really pick up much. So it's uh, here for now. And I'm debating either to give it back to mum and give it to mum and dad or to sell it. When I eventually move out of it, I'm not sure yet. Um, up there is a carry bag of all uh, Sal's toys that I left that she's not chewed the hell out of yet. But she does do that. She loves to play rough on the toys. I'll say that, guys. Uh, here's all the cardboard boxes um, and stuff that I've ordered. I'm keeping for storage. 
purposes. Uh, I don't think we can open the cupboard. But in that cupboard is just a load of spare like jackets and jumper, not jumpers, like hoodies and that. Uh, here's the workout gear. Uh, there's a bike. There's the uh, the weight scenario at the back there. But I don't, I don't really use it. And again, debating about uh, either giving it to mum and dad when I knew that or selling it. And there's the uh, mop bucket back down there. And there's the uh, the mop itself and the broomstick. And then over here in this corner, we've got all the uh, storage boxes. Uh, going to be useful for when we move up here eventually. Uh, tumble dryer. I've had this the same one since uh, I think it was October or November 2020. But um, back there, uh, the hose I've replaced recently. So that is a new uh, condenser hose. There's the window. Uh, here's the air some stuff drying on it still. Um, you know, I'm not, probably going to leave this tool tomorrow for them to dry still, but I don't know. That kind of feels dry to me, those trackies, but uh, probably need to still dry. And there's the uh, bag of uh, dog food. Still very heavy. It's still got about the majority of the 20 kilos left in it. Okay, let's come out here. Okay, and uh, now we're going to go into my, uh, actually no, we'll do the bedroom in a sec, we'll do the bathroom again, because this doesn't really change much. Um, so this line here is still pretty dull, because um, we can't really change it, because it's a specific um, kind of bulb, I think. Like, if you can see it, I don't know what shape bulb it is, but you can't just put a normal um, LED line for some weird reason. Anyway, there's the uh, toilette. Uh, there's the... Well, paper holder and then over here is where i've got my talking scales talking bathroom scales and then i've got all these uh bath mats on the floor the bath mats, but drugs the, the sink oh, you can see me in the uh in the mirror my uh ugly mug uh there's a towel holder got a uh, thin towel on my and then uh, there's the shower and the bathtub with the uh Bath mat in it, there's some shower there, there, I can use it at the moment. Just gonna come out here now, and I'll turn the lights off. Okay, and then here's the bedroom. Uh, we've got some things that kind of stay the same, but um, some things have been moved around. We've got the uh, wash basket there. I just got my clothes in from today because I did laundry yesterday. This is my bed. Um, pretty much the same as usual. Uh, bedside table. Had that since like 2020 again. Uh, there's my iPad, there's my watch. Uh, what's on there? Just my watch and my iPad pretty much at the minute. And uh, the chargers. Um, let's see. What's we got on here? Uh, there's the fan, the side, the rucksack back there in the corner. Uh, there's my window sill. Obviously, the curtains are closed right now. But um, and I've always got my uh, aftershave and deodorant and all that. Um, now then, uh, this is my gym bag, so I'm keeping this now. So you know, when I go gym in the day, I can just grab my bag on my bedroom. Uh, and then we put these drawers here now, instead of having them in the corner near the door. And then this drawer here, I'm keeping all my, uh, guide dog stuff. So I've got tree pouch, coat for Sal, and lead, and harness, and just because I've got my umbrella in there as well. Oh, hang on. There's one down side. The uh, bag strap seems to get in the way. It's a little annoying, but... Uh, this drawer down here is just empty for the time being. I oh, oh, no, no. No, I've still got some clothes in here, actually, I think. Oh, yeah, I think my dad might have put these in here. So, um... Yeah, you've got these in here for now. What's actually in here? I'm curious real quick. It feels like... Some jumpers and stuff, I think. Or is this like my... There's a couple of joggers in there as well, okay, I'll have a look at that at some point. Or another, there's a few of my clothes still in there. But like we noticed that in the uh, other dresser at the bottom drawer there was some clothes left in there, so I might keep them. Uh, here's all my pyjamas pretty much, other than the ones I have on currently. And then bottom drawer is all my winter gear and there's my belts in there and all that kind of stuff. The hats, neck warmers and all the like. And then, uh, over here, 
is now where I have my shoe battle here in the corner. I've got some bags of uh, clothes that I'm thinking either giving back to my mum or uh, giving to charity, I'm not sure yet. Because they don't really fit me anymore that much, some of them, and uh, just something I barely wear. Here's the uh, the rail that I have on the back of my door. Got my towels and all the coats and that from there. Hook some more on there. Um, and up here is my new uh, dresser. Wherever that is sat. But um, up top we've got the extension lid with the uh, Wii U gamepad charger and the Game Boy Advance charger, I think that is. And then there's another one of my carrier uh, rucksacks, which you know, use it for shopping. And then uh, this box here currently there's nothing in it. Don't know if I'll use that or not. Um, okay, first drawer here. So all my boxes, well, most of my boxes are in this drawer. Can't fit all of them in there, unfortunately, but I will. The drawers are yeah, they're decent size, but they're not that big. Uh, here's most of my socks. And then this first drawer down. I have in here most uh, the rest of my socks and boxes. And I have the three pairs of jeans that I own. And then third drawer down. I have most of my joggers. Like my uh tracksuit bonds basically. Um Basically, that's what that drawer is. I think I've got like six or seven pairs in there. And then, what's this? One, two, three. Third drawer down is the majority of my t-shirts that I uh, chose to keep. So guys, you get a good arm workout uh, with these drawers because they're a little stiff, but well. And then the bottom drawer, I have um, the last of my uh, t-shirts and... Um, uh, tracks and bottoms basically whatever uh this basically just what i had in the wash basket um when i was doing my laundry basically but yeah that's that and then got here the cupboard and uh you know surprisingly now i really don't have the broken wardrobe anymore we can actually open this all the way which i love um got all these coats in here and the uh, jumpers which only get warm um let's see there's a couple of hoodies in there there's a few Shirts, don't wear those really at all. I've not really had to wear any of that since uh, 2022 when I had that job as a sales executive, which I hated in the end. But that's what it is, I guess. Put these towels back up because they've fallen on the bottom. We'll make sure that this will close the door. Oh no, it's not a flannel that's uh, out of the way. There we go. Um, just got clear there. Number one, there's all the bedding and towels it's basically in there. Okay, that's the uh, bedroom furniture done for the tour. Um, this is my wash basket again. Okay, can I have the bedroom? Okay, final part of the tour. Okay. So, first up here we have the talking microwave, which I got a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah, I'm going to turn it on for you guys and you can hear him talk. Power on. Okay. And then, oh, on top of that we've got uh, sales, uh, flea tablets, and I've got my uh, two uh, microwave covers, and we've got the uh, like prong pronger and... Uh, it's basically the thing you use to fill up the water in the egg boiler and to prong the eggs, basically. Um, got spray cleaner, I forgot to put this back. To the, that's where it is now on the white top. Um, I was cleaning out the microwave a little bit ago. Um, I had some couscous and it got in the uh, microwave a little bit. Like, it left a little bit of residue, so I had to uh, give it a spray inside. Uh, there's the air fryer. Uh, I talked before about maybe getting a, another one which can talk, which... I'm still debating about, you know, because this works just fine, and do I really want to spend 100 quid on another air fryer? I don't know, maybe we'll see. Uh, toaster, I've had this since 20, say late 2020, or like early 2021, because I don't remember when the old one set on fire. 
think it was, yeah, because because the old toast I had, which came with this apartment, was so crap, um, it would get really hot rather quickly, and it uh, won't set on fire. So we have to put that and basically throw that away. And then I bought this in, I want to say mid to late 2020, I think. But yeah, and I love it. And I think I still have some warranty. I'm not sure though. Because I did pay for four years warranty on this thing, but that was in like 2020, so it's probably run out by now. Um, egg boiler. Was debating about getting another one of these because it doesn't bleep as loud as it used to, but it still works. I don't even bother. Uh, let's see, down here we've got the freezer. Uh, we've got the fridge. All my food in there. Oh, I suppose I could show off inside the fridge and freezer, I guess. I don't know. Actually, what I've got in the freezer currently. So, we've got a uh, container of soup in the top bit, and then that's where I keep the bread. Because I keep my bread in the freezer, because then you don't have to worry about it going out of date. <coughs> few nails in the actual mid part of the freezer and then got to the bottom drawer yeah we do okay so there's a few things down there as well make sure that doesn't fall out the drawer and then in my fridge kitchen door is so annoying that's why the god that's why the super sign god in the door i've got uh that's where i keep my eggs so i keep them uh, fresh and in the door, I've got uh, apple juice. Can't go wrong with apple juice. Um, got some beetroot, because you can keep it in the fridge once you open the jar. Uh, I've got some olives left in that bowl. And then we've got the uh, milk jug. And then in here in the fridge itself. Top shelf, I've got some grated cheese and a quiche, because I love quiche. Um, it's the one thing I will never make, because it's too... It's too difficult to make from scratch, so and that's one thing I will always buy shop more. Um, it's balsamic onion and the short cheddar, which is my favorite one. Uh, middle shelf, we have all my fruit, because that's why I keep that on the shelf. And then uh, in the drawer down there is vegetables on the left, and uh, yogurts on the right. So that's how I organize my fridge these days, guys. Uh, let's see, anything different up here? There's the hob again. Same one as usual. Uh, oven, there's the uh, oven nets and the oven gloves on there. Okay, uh, countertop. Uh, the drawer here has not really changed. Everything's still the same here. Spoons, knives, forks, teaspoons. There's the talking food thermometer and all the other uh, stuff in there. Um, utensil covered. Um, I guess, you know, we've got the uh, Need to roll slip. We've got the uh, jar opener. We've got the uh, ball alert disc. If you guys can see that. There we go. Need to go something. I guess. Okay, cool. Uh, did there anything else go in there? Um, not really. Um, let's see, and then we have food cupboard, so spices, got some macaroni, we got, um, uh, no, yeah, macaroni, yeah, um, sweet corn, onions, olives, beetroot, basically the cupboard printer in there, guys, and then bottom drawer, bin bags, food bags, food bags, basically all the bags, uh, Brothers bin, which I'm keeping it today, so it's empty. Uh, drain board, with all my, oh, draining rack, because I don't actually, oh no. I think it's the draining board, because I don't use a, an actual draining rack anymore. Just because it's too much hassle to actually dry, like keep keep clean. Whereas with the with the uh, board, you can just put stuff on it, and then when you're done, just you know, either clean it or just dry it, basically that. There's the sink. Um, the sink, we got all my glasses and mugs. Um, you now I've got a few additions. You know, I've got my uh, over there, I've got my uh, one that I normally use, but um, in the couple, we've got the uh, two pine glasses I bought from Poundland a while ago. We have the um, Coke glass there that I like to drink out every now and again, and we've got um, got a few other glasses in there, and then the mugs where well, we got um, 
Uh -huh, I know I got on the on the dream board, but um, here we've got the uh, other Harry Potter mugs we got. We've got the um, yeah the four house cups in there. We've got uh, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Gryffindor, and Hufflepuff. And we've got the uh, Marauders map. And then at the bottom down there, I hope you can see it. I've got my uh, chopping boards that I have from RMD. Okay, and then we have over here, Talking Measure and Jug. Have this since like 2020. Or like 20, I think I bought it from 2019 actually. Um, like the end of 2019, like early 2020. But it could have been, no, I think it was 2019 I actually bought it. Um, the, the other stuff, you know, tea cloths, got this cloth, even tea towels, kettle. Uh, same one I've had since 2020, 2019. Um, I think it was. Uh, talking scales. Had this again since 2019. Um, anything I don't have anymore is the charger, but you don't really need it as long as you replace the uh, 9 volt battery, which you need to do with the uh, measure cooker. Um, let's see. Slow cooker. Had this since like late 2019, beginning of 2020. Kitchen roll. In the cupboard, we've got uh, cereal, we've got tea bags, we've got oil, we've got all the oven stuff like quiche dish and the oven dishes basically there. And now that we've got plates and bowls. Shout out, Mr. Mr. You were in everything, that's why the super sign god. And then we have the uh, current bookshelf, which is a bit small, so I need to get a new one. But what we've got for now. Uh, top shelf, we have the um, Braille labeler, Braille tape. Back there, we've got the uh, Switch collection. We've got the um, Wii collection. And we've got the... Uh, what else is there? It's just Wii and Switch. Maybe that, maybe. Uh, needle shelf, this is all Sony. So PS2, PS1. Uh, PS3, PS4, PS5, and PlayStation 4. And then the bottom shelf is um, Microsoft, so OG Xbox, 360, Xbox One. Oh, I think the Xbox X collection is up there as well, you know, the free disc. And then the bags down here, we've got uh, GameCube and Wii games. And then that bag is the uh, DS and 3DS and Game Boy Advance collections, as well as my handholds. Excuse me. Uh, sofa. Other sofa, uh, dining table with the fruit bowl. Uh, the rug, it's a little side of our bed. Uh, window, window. Uh, there's the desk. So it's in focus. Um, should be now. It is at least. Yeah, there we go. Uh, Blue Yeti. Got that since 2022. All of this pretty much here is from 2022, pretty much, guys. Um, MacBook Air, 2020 edition. PS3 Super Slim. Xbox One X. Uh, but I got PS5 for my 20, like an early 25th birthday present, so I can go there. Um, let's see. TV. Uh, GameCube. N64, Nintendo Switch, that's the most latest console, because I got that in November. Uh, Wii U, Wii U gamepad. Middle shelf is the, um, so I've got Xbox 360, had that since 2015, no, 2014, now, so that's 10 years old. As of my 25th birthday, it'll be 10 years old, because I got that for my 15th birthday. Um, PS2 Slim Edition, and then. Down at the bottom, if you can see it, I don't know. Um, let me zoom out a little bit, so it's better. There we go. Is the uh, Xbox One S and the uh, original Xbox. So that, guys, is the 2024 apartment tour. <laughs> it rhymed. No, it no, uh, so, um, yeah, we're going to finish it today, guys, because it's going to be a long blog. And I'm going to be recording for that, I'll see. 24 minutes, bloody hell. Okay, um, yeah, we're gonna call it a day, guys. So, um, hope you enjoyed my first vlog for April. 
And uh, yeah, we'll talk again soon. Right. Y656 signing out. Bye, guys. Yeah.